Hi Decker, so um, you just got your first Pfizer vaccine, um, what was the process like? Uh, so the process was uh, very quick, I walked in, um, they asked me some questions and um, I wrote down my name, first name, last name, date of birth, mm -hmm. and then I got a little form, this little paper, mm -hmm. and then I went straight ahead and then they called me in and then they asked me some more questions about um, my health and I've had if I've had any other vaccinations in the past two weeks and it was you know a couple of it was quite a couple of questions yeah and I answered them and then afterwards I got my jab mm -hmm. and I sat down and I waited 15 minutes to see how I'm feeling and then after that I was able to leave. Mm. How did it feel when you um, got your first vaccine? Um, it was very quick I hardly even noticed I was getting um, jabs in the arm but yeah it was very quick and then afterwards it felt a little tingly but that yeah. kind of went away I think it's been it's been after it's been like probably 15 minutes now mm -hmm. and it's my arm's feeling pretty good now okay all right we'll check in with you later thank you have you ever had a reaction to a vaccination no allergic to anything that you know of no do you have what's called a mast cell disorder no mm -hmm. Any blood clots in the past? No. Have you ever been on heparin? No. Any immune conditions? No. no. Um, a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome? No. Do you think you might be pregnant? No. Any bleeding disorders or on blood thinners? No. Have you ever fainted after a vaccination? No. And have you had COVID-19? No. Okay, and you're feeling well today? Yep, I'm feeling great. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, any immunotherapy or blood products in the last couple of days? No. Or any other type of vaccination in the last two weeks? No. Beautiful. So, one, two, three. Right. Let's see you. Done. Well, Good job. Yeah. I must say I've done a fair few of these. <laughs> That's super quick, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's only a small amount. Um, so, yeah, it's not too bad. Now, a bit of a sore arm, um, any redness in the area is normal. Yep. Um, if you feel a flu like symptoms, you can have some Panadol and Nurofen, but just keep yourself nice and hydrated, and that will help. So, I'll give you that one to hold on to, and then we do need you to wait the 15 minutes just um, in the observation area, which will take us to about 10.32. Feels a bit tingly, that's normal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've just unfortunately put a needle <laughs> into yeah. your arm. So this one here, just pop it on your shirt, kind of like a name tag, so they'll be able to see the time out there. Okay. Did you see where the observation area was? I think so. It was that's, just I can point you in that direction. And did you want the information sheet as well? Yeah, I'll take the information sheet. Perfect. Awesome. Thank Good you. Good job. Um, hello, it's been some time now since I had the COVID-19 vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine. I got it this morning at around 10, 10, 15 a.m. It's now around 6.30 p.m. Um, I'm feeling really great at the moment. My arm is tingling a little bit, I would say, but overall I feel really great. And they did give me a piece of paper um, with details of things that I shouldn't be feeling. And if I do feel it, that I need to follow up with my GP. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that. But as of right now, I feel great. And um, I'll be getting my second dose in three weeks time in around August. So I look forward to that. Um, hello again. It's been over 24 hours now since I got the COVID-19 vaccine, the first dose of the Pfizer. Um, my arm's feeling, it's feeling a bit um, sore at the moment, but it's, not too sore compared to last night. Last night I did feel that it got more sore significantly like throughout the night and I was having trouble kind of resting my arm on it if I wanted to go to sleep. So I tried to avoid that and I was sleeping on my other side. But as of right now, my arm feels pretty good. It's kind of recovering, so it's a little bit sore, but overall it's great and I'm still just gonna keep an eye out on the, um, the things to expect and if things do go wrong, then I'll probably go back and visit my GP. And yeah, thank you. Mm.
new journey. So this morning at around 10.45 a.m. I had my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine and it's now been two hours later and I feel pretty good at the moment. I feel the same as I did this morning before I got the vaccine. So it's really interesting compared to the first one because my arm felt very tingly and sore but this time around I feel like I don't feel any of that and I feel pretty great actually. Um, it has been only two hours though, so I'm going to be keeping a close eye on how I go. Um, the nurse that was giving me my um, jab did give me a list of common and less common side effects. So yeah, I'll be keeping a very close eye so, on that. It's been 24 hours since my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Um, right now, I'm not feeling the best, to be honest. Uh, last night when I was going to sleep, my arm felt more sore and um, I, I had a lot of trouble sleeping as well and then when I woke up I was very fatigued and dizzy and I was very tired as well even though I slept pretty like I slept a good amount of hours but I woke up very fatigued and tired for some reason um, and I also felt like my arms and my muscles they were very like sore so I had to do some stretches for that as well so I'm not feeling the best right now but I'm gonna keep observing and see what happens. Hello everyone. So it's been two weeks since I got the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Um, the two days following on from when I got the vaccine, I felt very tired and my arm was feeling very sore as well. So I was making sure I didn't sleep on that arm for those two days. But by the third day, I was feeling quite good. I was feeling back to normal. Um, and now it's been two weeks later and I feel great and I'm really happy that I got the vaccine.